There is only one month left to buy my plushie, and if you want to own a piece of Travis Plush Productions history, then get over to ownedge.com and buy it now, because when June hits, it's gonna be gone forever, and you won't be able to buy it anymore, but uh, only if you want to. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, bye. Ah, they're raining down the- ah! oh, oh, oh. oh, I got to blur a lot of that. Dang it, the gag's ruined. Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to be opening a whole bunch of different FNAF stuff. Uh, plushies, there's some U2s here. Uh, we're gonna be opening it on today's episode, video, whatever, unboxing it, and it's gonna be cool. And we're gonna get to see a whole bunch of cool stuff. Uh, first up, actually, since the box is already kind of opened, I don't know how this happened, but we're gonna start with X Smart Global's FNAF Withers. Uh, I'm gonna scoot all this stuff out of the way. So if you aren't aware of Xsmart Global, uh, Xsmart Global is a little um, puzzle company that makes bootlegs. This is a fake fraud bootleg. Somebody chain me up. I'm, I'm going to go to jail. The prisoners are taking me to jail. Anyway, so yeah, these are Xsmart Global's FNAF withered plushies. Uh, they started out kind of just making some like random stuff. You had like a frost plush trap and whatever Mr. Freddy is, but they made it characters that people actually are really requesting, such as the withered animatronics. And I figured I would pick them up uh, to show off to you guys. So yeah, this is withered Freddy. Um, this is Xmark Global's withered Freddy. Uh, and you can see he is just really, really detailed. He's this kind of dark brown color with a lighter tan brown on a lot of his other parts. Uh, for his accents, you got a couple tears in his body, his bow tie, his buttons, his wires coming out of his foot. He's even got a broken eye, just like that one render in the FNAF 2 cameras. Yeah, but this is an actually, like, a crazy-looking plush. Like, man, for a bootleg, this is, like, super high quality. They're almost Funko quality. I really like how they actually bothered giving the hat, like, the rim of the hat a little bit of puff to it. Because, uh, I'll actually gra grab a, um, a normal Funko Freddy for comparison. So, yeah, here is, uh, in comparison to a regular Funko Freddy. Uh, as you can see, he's a little bit taller, uh, than regular Funko Freddy. Um, he's also, like, a, he's a little bit more round in shape. Like, he's got a very... He's got a very, very solidified shape. He's a lot more well-stuffed. Uh, Freddy is a bit softer, actually. Like, I mean, obviously, like, as a plush, he's very soft and fluffy. Whereas this one's a bit harder. It's, like, harder stuffed. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of a quick unboxing review video. Uh, I'm gonna do a more in-depth Xsmart kind of coverage video later, but this is just a quick video for people who want to see it. Uh, but yeah, there's a tag. Uh, I'm gonna open the other four now and do a small comparison to their Funko versions. That All right. Bag number two. Yeah. Oh, I see a couple in here. All right, here we go. So we got one plushie. Boom. Two plushies. Hey, boom. So we have Withered Bonnie and Withered Foxy, both from X Smart. Starting with Withered Bonnie. Let's get him out of the packaging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here is X Smart Withered Bonnie, and wow, he is uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, I'm gonna ooh, try and fix his jaw here. This dude is packed with some crazy detail. Uh, he is a very blue color. Um, you can see his ears are very bent forward. I might try and bend him up a bit. I kind of like it his ears are bent, because Wither Bonnie has kind of got like that one bend ear, one not bent ear going on. These wires are just exploding out of his face. You can see his big red eyes and his endo face. Uh, his jaw is very large. Um, kind of like how a lot of the custom plushies do it. Uh, he's got a very muted, kind of like, like a crimson sort of color for his bow tie which makes sense because it's withered uh all the holes around him the wires out of his arm and out of his leg and his metal metallic parts and dang this plush is awesome i remember not really liking this guy uh on the preview pictures online i didn't really think he looked that great like i thought he looked fine but not really uh, how i do wither bonnie i like wither bonnie being more purple personally because i think he, this is a little too blue for me but i think this is really solid uh, the shape is a lot better than I thought, and he's actually a lot softer than Freddy. I feel like Freddy's very stiff, but, like, this guy's still a little squishy. I like that. This is good. This actually- I actually like him more than Withered Freddy, which I was not expecting. Uh, also his teeth are kind of this, like, saw- like, kind of, like, hard, uh, like a felt material, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's a solid plush. Uh, we're gonna go on to Withered Foxy now, which I believe is my second favorite of these four, uh, at least at the moment. Um, here is X Smart's Withered Foxy plush. Uh, so yeah, again, this is very closely modeled to Foxy himself. I'm actually, I almost forgot, I'll, I'll come back to Bonnie and do a comparison after I review Foxy. But here's Withered Foxy. Uh, he's very, like, again, he's like a very kind of like a, like a orange, almost orangish red on his fur. He's very, very stuffy. This guy is almost kind of hard with how much stuffing they put in him. 
Um, but he's very solid. He has, retains his shape. Uh, he's got his hook, which is awesome. I'm trying to kind of get it bent back into shape, but it uses very similar material like the Captain Foxy plushie or the Grim Foxy plush or Tie-Dye Foxy. It's like a kind of a harder uh, felt. Here is these like silver parts of his body, uh, sort of like this embroidery with all the holes around him. He's very like ge geometrical holes. We got that scrap trap withering going on. I just realized they have the name of the animatronics all on their tags. Uh, yeah, Wither and Animatronic Special Edition. Uh, you can see his teeth. I'm trying to get one of his other teeth to slide down. He's got little teeth down here. He's got a... This is actually interesting. It's a different kind of nose, because Freddy's is like normal Funko noses where they're very, like, shiny and, like, soft and smooth. Whereas Foxy's is a lot, like, it's a lot more matte. Like, there's sort of a less of a, um, uh... It's a bit scratchier. Yeah, this is interesting. Well, I really like this plush. This one's also very, very solid. This I like that it kind of gives off the personality of Withered Foxy a lot. I feel like, again, like with the, the more muted colors and stuff, it looks cool. I like it. I mean, also the metallic ear. Look at that. That's really cool. Look at look at the way the ear. Like, dang, the embroidery and the metallic look is so cool. It's really good. I like Withered Foxy a lot. He looks very solid. Oh, God. Withered Freddy, no. And I'll do a quick comparison. Here is Withered Bonnie next to Funko Bonnie. Uh, if you ever want to get these for your collection, I know most people have the Funko plushies, so, you know, you can take a little peek. Uh, yeah, these are pretty good. Again, bigger, but, you know, sometimes people like the Withers being bigger. I know the Withers are actually bigger than the Faf one in the Tronics in, in the actual games, so some people might like it that they're slightly bigger. Uh, and then with Foxy, Withered Foxy and FNAF 1 Foxy, again, slightly bigger. Very cool, very cool. Again, this is, a, this is like, these are great. I think these are like, for me personally, I've always loved when plushies can manage to scale accurately to their video game counterparts. Uh, that's why I like things like the huge Bowser plush like, compared to like a smaller Mario and all that stuff. This stuff's really cool. I love being able to scale them and how it's like, this is kind of more accurate to how it would be in FNAF 2, where like the classics are a lot closer to the size of the toys. Uh, they're a lot smaller. And whereas the withers are a lot taller with a much bigger build with like Endo 2 up in there and stuff. And lastly, we have one more package of X Smart Pleasure before we move on to the other stuff. I'm gonna open this up. We have, oh god, uh, Withered Chica. Oh my gosh. And from the pictures, this one might be my favorite. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to open it up to see if I like it as much as I think I do. But hopefully, I like Withered Chica a lot. We're gonna have to see. Oh my gosh, she looks fantastic. Holy sh wow, I gotta say, this looks phenomenal. Wow. Um, I'll be honest, uh, for Withered Chica, I always thought she looked, most of an F Funko plushy edits, or, you know, um, composition, like, you know, like, you know what I mean, like, you see the edits of Withered Chica, the customs, and you're like, eh, they look a little weird. I can even, my Withered Chica's a little strange, but they absolutely knocked it out of the park. This is easily my ideal design for a Withered Chica plush, just between the way it looks, and, like, the, just, like, all the, the detail, and the shape, and the, and, like, the way the embroidery hits, like, oh, it's so, mwah, it's beautiful. I love the way this looks. You've got these patchy holes all over her. Uh, the Let's Eat Bib, it could be a little thicker. It's very, very thin and flimsy. I'd recommend being careful, because this might tear pretty easy. But that looks pretty solid. It still looks good. Um, you have the wires coming out of her arms. Uh, the feet are awesome shapes. They got, like, the Toy Chica feet in their silver toes. Um... And just look at this head, the way they have the, the sunken in eyes, uh, with like, you know, you can see the eye holes at the top, the, the, the eye, like, eyeballs look amazing, these look great, uh, the beak looks amazing with like the upper and lower beak with all the teeth, and look at the wires and the side of face, just, just phenomenal, just an absolutely phenomenal plush. I cannot believe this is as good as it is, because considering Wither Chica is notoriously a very difficult collection character to make, and wow, I just noticed the tag is so what? Like, okay, I gotta talk about this tag for a second. All the other normal X Mart tags look like this. What is this tag? Why does it look like that? Is this like some like this looks like an AI image of like the you know the Splinks iconic like Splinks models of of FNAF like between like split. Why is the tag like this? What? <laughs> Collect me and my friends. No, yeah, that wait, wait a minute. Is it hiding? Oh wait, no, because this is one tag. Wait. Oh, it is hiding back there. It was just, it was a secret surprise and Wither Chica revealed it to us. I, I thought that this, I didn't realize. It's just because it's layered on the front for this one. Yeah, these look great. I'm so happy with this. And comparing it to Funko Chica, I mean, look, let's just pretend that this is a good plush. Comparing her to Funko Chica, uh, even then, it's, like I said, the scale thing's still apparent. It's, it's just insane, the quality jump. Um, actually, I think, to, to let's be a little more fair here. Alright, so this is probably a little closer to what a Funko, modern-day Funko Chica would look like. 
uh, he was actually good, and comparing them, they look great. Again, I want to see, I, God, Funko, please re-release Wave 1 with a tie-dye pattern. These look, oh, these are so good, especially this Chica. Like, that just looks, that looks beautiful, Mwah, beautiful. But yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Chica, you're not, you're not, you're orange and Cheeto, not, not normal Chica, sorry. Cheeto Chica. Can I call you Cheeto Chica? But yeah, this is a fantastic collection of four. I think x absolutely knocked it out of the park. Despite the fact that these are bootlegs, these look phenomenal. But wait, we have a secret, a new, ch a, a new challenger is approaching. Dun, 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 dun. It's Fred Bear. Fred Bear from FNAF. Fred Bear. It's Fred Bear. Put some Doc Hug clip of him screaming about Fred Bear. Go and get caught. Uh, up here. Here's Fred Bear from FNAF World. Oh my gosh. Or I guess, I guess, yeah, this is technically the FNAF World design because he has the blue eyes. This plush is awesome. Oh my God. Yeah, so this is the their Fred Bear plushie uh, that they just recently made. Well, I say recently, but you know what I mean? This is the newest one they made. And man, it looks awesome. You have the embroidered buttons, the purple hat and bow tie, the golden, golden pattern, the cute nose, the awesome eyebrows, and the blue eyes. Just perfect. He looks just like Fredbear. He looks amazing. I think normal Fredbear has turquoise eyes, but this is close enough. And I also really like that they have the they have a version with and without the eye rings. Uh, cause with because to fun fun fact. The original Spring Bonnie has these sort of eye rings around her eyes. And you can kind of see that they actually go really good together. Uh, they, they sort of did, they tried doing it with Fredbear, and they kind of held the poll, like, which people liked better, and they couldn't really, it seems like people couldn't really find a common consensus on which one they liked, um, so they just made both, and they gave people the option to pick, pick with, with or without the eye rings. I think that's really cool, because if you think it looks good with the eye rings, you can get the eye rings, or if you don't think it doesn't look good, then you can just get this one, and it's great! Uh, yeah, I think this looks, I think this looks great. They look fantastic together, but god, they're perfect. Uh, it's so cool having... Uh, finally having a Funko Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie plushie together. Um, I didn't really, like I said, I didn't really like the one with the iron. I just didn't think they really did it in the same vein as this one. It, it, again, an attempt, and I appreciate it, but I just didn't really care about it. But this, this looks awesome. It's so cool having these two together, finally. Uh, it just looks amazing. Um, so, yeah, that is the sort of X-Smart segment of this video. And I, I think later down the line, I do want to do a more in-depth X-Smart sort of coverage video, but that's gonna kind of be more video essay style. This is just more like a fun little unboxing video. So yeah, let's move on to the next thing. So next up is a U2's package, and you know U2's makes plushies. Uh, this is a plushie of a FNAF Ruin character. Uh, say hello to the famed Glam Rock Bonnie, our first ever Glam Rock Bonnie merch, and God, he's so cute looking. We gotta get him out of this packaging right now. Ah, uh, look at this guy and how cute he is. Oh my God. So yes, this is the Glam Rock Bonnie U2's plushie. Uh, this was the only one I picked up out of this set right now because I just was so happy to have some Glamrock Bonnie merch, and I thought that this could probably pair pretty well with the Sanchi U2, uh, sort of Glamrock plushies. And let's just say, this is awesome. The way it's got, like, the nice blue pat- the blue color is very pleasant, uh, the headband and, like, the sort of, uh, I don't know what you call it, like, a scarf. This looks really cool. Look at the bunny tail, like, the sort of red suit. Look at these little, like, uh, the arm- the armbands. Uh, just- just dang, this plush is awesome. You got the bending ears, too. I really like that you can bend the ears either up or down, depending on how you want the ears to be positioned. He looks awesome. Here's his tag. Here's a little silhouette of Glamrock Bonnie. Uh, thanks for collecting me. Oh, it's, it's actually, it's weird. It says ruined Glamrock Bonnie. Despite the fact that this is fixed Glamrock Bonnie, you two, you liars! Obviously, the U2 plushies are in their own style and not in the style of, like, the, you know, Glamrock Bonnie plushies from the game. But I do think it's still a size. I mean, it it looks pretty good with this guy. Like, I think it looks great. These look fantastic together. So, you know, if Sanchi never makes a Glamrock Bonnie, then you got a pretty good alternative, all things considered. I think the u one looks fantastic. And last but not least for today's video, we have a U2s, physical U2s. Now, this is the thing, right? They told me I ordered four U2s in one thing, and they started shipping separately. However, I don't know what this is. I have no idea what U2s this is. So we're going to find out together. Uh, this could be either the Mimic, Mexus, uh, what was the third one I bought? It was Glitch Trap, which I don't think that's it's Glitch Trap, because I don't think that's shipped yet. It was Glitch Trap, the Mimic Mexus, and... I don't remember. What was the kind of confusing me? This is also pretty heavy, and I don't think this is the size of a normal U2's box, so... I'm curious if this is maybe just two U2's? Maybe they, maybe they put two in one? Because I don't remember this being 
this uh this size like i feel like i remember this you just oh it is two youtubes let's see what's inside oh my god they sent me glitch trap what i didn't think glitch trap was supposed to ship yet oh my god all right hold on we gotta we gotta we gotta get these guys out of here hold on hold on a minute i didn't think glitch trap was supposed to ship yet i don't think this guy shipped until like june whoa we got mexus and glitch trap holy cow all right so i guess starting with uh mexus here was this is one of the ruined figures uh we're gonna take a gander at this guy obviously mexus was sort of like the uh like like uh, ongoing antagonist in ruin you know sends the animatronics after you uh you know during the little puzzles and stuff he's after you and when you're trying to the the nose and fannies the little pocket dimension thing I don't know, FNAF is weird. <laughs> yeah, here is the Mexus figure. You can see the little box art on all sides. Uh, this is like the sleeve and then the actual box art. I believe this should have the quote. Actually, this doesn't have any of the quotes on it. Well, that art on the back is pretty cool. No, this doesn't have any of the quotes on it, oddly enough. Well, then again, I guess Mexus doesn't talk. So that, <laughs> that does make sense now that, now that I say that out loud. Ooh, it's like slanted in the package. Interesting. Here is the Mexus figure, and wow, this is a cool figure. Um, the sculpt is really detailed on this and very intricate. You've got like, uh, like the obviously Mexus the rabbit himself. Um, you can see like the like the very like defined face here, all the little blocks and pixels, and he's like a little VR character. He's got his hand out to you, and you can see the bottom, you know, 2023s coffin. Actually, kind of interesting as it's 2023. Then again, I guess this, like, barely came out at the start of the year, you know, uh... But yeah, this is actually a really solid figure, I mean, yeah, he looks great. I really like this guy. So I guess I I'm very excited to have these alongside my Security Breach figures, because obviously I have all that stuff uh, on my shelf. Um, I can compare them later, um, but we will do that in a bit. Next up is the Glitch Trap Help Wanted figure. Uh, I actually did look into it. Apparently, I'm not the first person to own this. However, this is did definitely ship much earlier than I thought, and I think I definitely have it more earlier than a lot of people. Uh, this was the only one I got in the wave because I just really like Glitch Trap, and, and I didn't really care for the other, uh, two figures in the wave, like, or the two? I think it was just Dread- Oh, no, and Shadow Mangle. I didn't really care for Dreadbear, Grim Fox, or Shadow Mangle. Like, I mean, they're cool, but, like, they're not really, like, I I'm- With my YouTube figures, I want to collect the, like, security breach adjacent ones, and he just fits because I, I want him to go alongside my Vanny figure. And, you know, he looks really cool. Uh, at least I think he does. We're gonna see. So, yeah, there's Help Wanted on the bottom. You got all the different little like branding with help wanted itself. Um, ooh, there's like glitch trap in the door at the end of the game. He's got the shh on the back. That's some cool art. Uh, you got some more stuff. I always come back. You know, people gonna people gonna get real mad about them theories in the comments. So glitch after and glitch mimic. I don't care. Actually, you know what? Argue about it in the comments so I can get more engagement. Uh, let me out. Well, I'm letting him out by opening the box. Sorry, guys. Oh, no! He's gonna kill me! Ah! Anyway. Uh, yeah, so here is the figure himself. And wow. Huh. Um, I don't know how I feel about this sculpt. I like it. It definitely looks pretty cool. Uh, and he's definitely, like, got... I love the pose. Like, he's got his iconic little, like, uh, pose. But... He's very, like, a, he's a very, like, muted yellow. Um, and he's not... He doesn't really have a wash over him, which I was kind of hoping he would, but... Yeah, I mean, honestly, I wasn't a big fan of the divots in the eyes, but I think it looks a little bit less weird in real life. This is kind of a hard figure to translate to a YouTube because his eyes are such a big, integral part of his character, but yeah, he looks solid. I think he'll especially look good next to Vanny. Let me go grab my Vanny real quick. So here is him next to Vanny, and they actually do size up pretty good next to each other. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show off his face. A bit different than Vanny's, but yeah, these are pretty cool right next to each other. Like, these are, oh, these look so cool. I love these next to each other. These are, these actually, I think, go really good together. Yeah, look at that. Neat. And then I also brought out my boy Burn Trap, you know. Now we have the, the both the Glitch Trap guys. We got both his variants. We got all the rabbits. We got all the rabbits now. These guys look really cool. They can play patty cake. Uh, patty cake, patty cake, baker, man. Bake me cake as fast as you can. All of the king's horses, and I can't remember the <laughs> So yeah, that was my little uh, FNAF unboxing video. I hope you guys liked uh, this video. Um, stay tuned for a more in-depth analysis video on XSmart uh, coming soon. And also, 
if you uh, want to see more unboxing videos, I do have those on my channel, but next week I'm actually going to be doing a Poppy Playtime themed unboxing video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more stuff, and goodbye everybody! Bye!